Welcome to episode 268 of the Two Minute Warning. Today we're looking at Kyle Trask from the Florida Gators, assuming he enters the NFL draft. We're predicting where he will go and what's a great fit for him in the NFL. Wade, what do you got? So, just starting off, there's a lot of great quarterbacks going into the draft this year. Uh, right now, I think he's projected to go fifth or sixth out of all the quarterbacks. I personally think that he should go fifth over Mac Jones. No hate on Mac Jones, but I think any quarterback in that Alabama system would do absolutely amazing. I think that Kyle Trask really proved, or he had a great season, proved that he could be better than Mac Jones. Um, the last game really hurt him, I think, in terms of just NFL prospects. Yeah, stocks up went yeah down I think Oklahoma. three interceptions in the first quarter did not was not a great look for him, but I still have faith in him. I think that his playmaking, not, not even playmaking ability, but his accuracy, deep ball, and just leadership in general really elevates his game. I say he goes fifth out of quarterbacks, and I see that as going either late first round or early second round. I don't think any of the teams that have a late pick are going to be able to get him if they don't get him in the first round. Yeah, when I think of Kyle Trask entering the NFL, <clears throat> first thing I think is him not being a starter right away. I think the main thing he really needs to do is take like an Aaron Rodgers approach and be sat behind a veteran quarterback for so a little he's bit. going to be the next Aaron Rodgers? Is no, what you're saying? he needs to copy what Aaron Rodgers did so he could be half of what Aaron Rodgers is. <clears throat> so I think if they throw him in the NFL right away, he's not going to have any success. But <clears throat> being the fifth or sixth rated quarterback in the NFL draft, you kind of can kind of expect that, that he's not ready to be a starter. This isn't the generational talent we're seeing from Trevor Lawrence. This is Kyle Trask here. I do think he has potential, but a lot of his success could be from how amazing Dan Mullen was and his offensive mind. So really, if he heads to a team that has a lousy head coach or just doesn't have the type of weapons like he did in Florida, like Kyle Pitts and um, what's that receiver? Kadarius Tony. Kadarius Tony. <clears throat> he might slack a little bit, not to say he doesn't have potential, but to me, a good team to him to possibly go to would possibly be Assuming this isn't like a first round pick, I think Trask was either going to be really late first round or second or third round pickup. Sounds kind of bold, but at this rate, I think the quarterback desperate teams are going to just draft up or stick with the guy they got rather than worry about Trask or Mac Jones. Yes, I think he'll get picked, but not going to be a main priority to trade for. <clears throat> a couple teams, like I said, I think the Steelers, you can maybe go in and sit behind Ben Roethlisberger. They got similar frames, both 6'5", big heavy dudes, both got good arms. I think that's a great spot for him. The 49ers might not be set on Jimmy Garoppolo. Maybe go behind him. He's always hurt, can always uh, step in and take his spot. New York Jets, <clears throat> if they keep Sam Darnold, of course. If they take Justin Fields, they don't need Kyle Trask. But if they take Sam Darnold, it's still good to have a rookie quarterback developing in case Sam Darnold turns out to not be the answer in future years. Indianapolis Colts, if Phillip Rivers retires, they can let Kobe Brissett take over for the season. That still have Trask learning. Then you got the Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. That sounds bold. Why would they... Get, uh, draft a quarterback when they have Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time. But if comes second, third round, he's sitting around and the Bucks really got their first round pick all settled. I think a great guy to sit behind would probably be the greatest quarterback of all time, and that's Tom Brady. And the Bucks could definitely have a good pickup having Kyle Trask learn from him. And then a couple of the teams that are on the fence are the Falcons, Lions, Vikings. Don't know if they're on the edge or on the fence about. Matt Stafford, Matt Ryan, and Kirk Cousins. All those teams are definitely possibilities for him to sit behind. Overall, as you guys seen, every possibility that I have a, as a good spot for Kyle Trask doesn't really have him coming in and being a starter by any means. I think he has potential if he takes the right approach and gets the right lessons from the right quarterback. But as of right now, if they throw him in as a starter in the league, he's not going to have great success in my opinion. I do agree with that. I think that if he does go right in, in as a starter, he's going to struggle quite a bit. But you mentioned teams like the Steelers. I would love to see that. You mentioned Big Ben. Very similar frames, very similar just abilities. They're both pocket passers. Big Ben cannot really scramble, and Kyle Travis can't. He might. He has shown that he can move in certain times. He can pick up those short yards downs. I think. I don't think Ben Roethlisberger is going to be around too much longer, so I think that would be a great pickup for the Steelers. And I've said this before. I want to see him go to the Patriots. I, I think that Bill Belichick was good with Tom Brady as a pocket passer. Now, granted, that might have been partly because of how amazing Tom Brady is, but I think that Kyle Trask, given a year, would work there. The only problem with that is they don't currently have a quarterback for next year for him to sit behind. Might be an issue, but if 
they really want him to. Who's their backup? Do you know? Um, Jared Stidham. He could sit behind him for a few games, do what Tua did with Fitzpatrick. Um, that could be a possibility, but uh, overall, I think that he will be a good asset to any team that does pick him up. I think given a few years, he could be one of the next stars. I know the pocket passer era is sort of going by the wayside with a bunch of the guys aging, but I think that in certain instances, it can be very useful. We're going to see Mac Jones, who is also a pocket passer, might be a little bit more mobile than Trask. He's also going to be going to a team. Um, so maybe this will uh, sort of help that style of play yeah. keep going. Not positive, but I also want to mention, I think it's pretty shocking, or it just shows how much talent is in this draft class, that a Heisman, two Heisman finalists are going fifth and sixth out of all the quarterbacks. I think that show, says a lot about all the quarterbacks that are going in. And another thing I want to mention is there are a few quarterbacks moving around, going to free agency, demanding trades like Deshaun Watson. So that might also have an effect on who does get to pick him up. Uh, we'll have to see where they all land first before we see who's going to get Trask and who's going to get Matt Jones and players like that. Yeah, like we both said, it's just as important for him to not be a starter as for him to fall upon the right team where he has the right guys to throw to. I really think... Kyle Pitts elevated his game to the next level. Not to say Kyle Trask wasn't a huge part of the Gators' success in offense this year, but I do think having those weapons is really a big game, and he can't go to a team like the Jets or the Jaguars where he has pretty much no one to throw to. Jaguars are not a great example because they have some talent. But like the Jets, Patriots, I think with Bill Belichick, he can overcome the hump, but having the Patriots receivers is not going to be a great start for him. If they could get things going, he needs a team that has receivers ready to go, and that to me is the Steelers if he can move on from Big Ben if I had to pick one team for him to go to, having Juju Smith, Chase Claypool, Eric Ebron. Juju's going to be gone, I think, next year. He's a free agent. I think they try and keep him just because he wants to stay in Pittsburgh, I think. But either way, even if he does go, they still have young stars rising and have the potential. Steelers is my number one pick for him, but definitely not in the first round. I think a great second round pickup for Trask would be good for the Steelers. I do like Steelers. Another team I'm pretty big on right now is the Vikings. I think they got great young guys, yeah. Justin Jefferson, as well as Adam Thielen. I think you sit behind Kirk Cousins, who isn't he getting older? Yeah, I mean, he's, and he's just mediocre. He's just general, mediocre, so. so you sit behind him for even half a season or a season. I think Kyle Trask will shine in an organization like that. They're always pretty solid, and I think that a good, solid quarterback like Trask could elevate them to a playoff team. Yeah, so basically our final overall consensus is really if he could get the right spot where he has the right guy to learn from and the right team to work with and the right coach to also coach him, he has a lot of potential, but they just throw him into a random team that he's just bound for failure. That's what's going to happen. I think he has a bright future if things click, but no yep. good future things. I don't think he deserves as much hate as a lot of people are giving him right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, he finished, he, even though he's fourth in Heisman, he got there and he deserves at least some recognition for to being in the conversation in general. Yep. Sounds All right. good. Two minutes. Two minutes.